Hey everybody, this is Sam with Daily Sports Betting Overtime. And we're going to talk NASCAR. Uh, they are at the Charlotte Roval today, which is a road course included into an oval. So what they did was they took Charlotte Motor Speedway and inside of the oval, they made a road track, and they call it the Roval, because they will not only be on the road track, but also up on the oval. It officially is the 2021 Bank of American Roval 400, and it starts at 2 p.m. today. Now, with the rain that has been going on on the East Coast, I think you have to look out and be aware of that. Um, I think they get the, this race in, though, with them starting at 2 p.m. Now, I'm trying to give you guys what you want. I told you what I liked to bet on was matchups. However, you guys seem to like pick 10 drivers to be in the top five. We can do that if you want. Um, but then I had a lady write in that said, look, I don't want a bunch of of that BS pick 10 to win 5. I don't want your matchups. I want to know who is going to win. Okay. I can give you who I think is going to win. Matter of fact, I'm going to tell you the favorite of everyone to win is Chase Elliott, and he's plus 150 to win. Everyone is a plus to win. Because it's so hard to pick a winner. Especially on this roval. Chase Elliott seems to have mastered it better than most. However, this roval is tricky. There's two corners in it where I don't know whether they lose focus or drivers are talking on their headsets or they're looking at the for the very next move they're going to be able to make the next hole that's going to open but there are two curves that they usually kind of have crashes on because the drivers miss the curve and they try to turn last minute at a speed they should not be turning at and it happens every time they race here Two veterans that I think have a good shot at winning here are Denny Hamlin and Kyle Busch. Now, Hamlin is plus 1,100 right now, and Kyle is plus 1,300. Why do I say them? Because they're aggressive drivers. They're not afraid to break too little or too much. Sometimes if you are not hitting your sight points, then you have to break at the last minute and some don't want to break too much because they're afraid of spinning it out. Denny and Kyle are not because they know how to handle when their car back ends on them because of dirt track racing, because of just being veterans, but they have, I think, the, I guess, average chance to win. The lady who wrote me specifically asked for dark horse favorites that she could really possibly win 
and win some big money. Well, okay. Um, I don't know of any Dark Horse favorites. Um, they're Dark Horses for a reason. Because they're probably not going to win. However, if I had to pick two young drivers that I feel like have pretty decent chance of winning and they handle the roval, it would be William Bryan at plus 1500 which I don't know if that's enough big money for you. But the other one is Alex Bowman. And he's plus 3500 So I'm thinking maybe he's more along your type. If you're going super dark horse and you're wanting a pick of like 15000 or something like that, none of those guys are probably going to win. Um, it would shock me if they did. Now, who I have in my top five. I didn't pick top ten to win top five. I'm picking uh, five to be on the podium. I'm taking Kyle Larson, Denny Hamlin, Kyle Busch, A.J. Allmendinger, and Ryan Blaney. I'll repeat those for them to be on the podium, top three, in any capacity. Kyle Larson, Denny Hamlin, Kyle Bush, A.J. Amendinger, and Ryan Blaney. So, let me go over everything once again. To win, Chase Elliott's the favorite, plus 150. Two veterans that I'm betting on that I think can win it is Denny Hamlin, Kyle Busch. Two dark horses that I'm throwing a quarter of a unit on William Byron, Alex Bowman. And then I'm taking half units on five podium finishers. That's to place in the top three any order. You can be third, you can be second, you can win. It doesn't matter as long as you're on the podium. So I'm picking Cal Larson, Denny Hamlin, Kyle Busch, A.J. Amendinger, and Ryan Blaney. So that is my NASCAR picks. I'm not going to do matchups um, this week with the Roval. It's almost as bad as doing it at Talladega. But anyway, um, guys, as always, bet responsibly. Do not bet any more than what you can afford, please. Um... Make sure that you're doing your research and you're picking your picks that you believe in. Said last episode, if you hate it, don't bet it. So uh, make sure that you are picking what you want to pick and that you're betting the amount you want to. Do not bet any more than you can afford. If you feel like you have a gambling problem or anyone close to you feels like you have a gambling problem, Stop. Call 1-800-GAMBLER. It's not going to take you that long. Go through their questions with them and answer them honestly. That way they can make a correct referral in your local area for you to get the help, guidance, and support that you need. As always, guys, I wish you the best of luck on anything you're watching or you're betting on today. I will be talking to you soon. And hopefully, I see you down the road.